week two. Let's see what's going on. I know I saw a couple of things earlier this week. I'm excited to show you. So we had a lot of rain last night, so it's gonna be a little sloshy. It's also like 70 degrees out here at 7 a.m. So I'll probably get my okra seeds planted today because our, our nights are about to get a little warm and sultry. But, all right, we're here. Okay. I don't know. I think the dogs are in the house, but let me go ahead and lock this back anyway. Nope, there's Bell Bell. <laughs> okay, so the plumeria is really sprouting out nice. I still have not tied back this David Austin rose and it's starting to like reach that way. So definitely today, definitely. No blooms yet, but they're coming. They'll be here. The Nepeta looking so lovely. Walker's low. These guys, this Lantana and this Coleus, they're just sitting there staring at me, doing nothing, not growing. They're just sitting there. I don't know what's wrong with them. The other Nepeta, lovely. This one's really spread out, look at that. It's spreading, large. So nothing right here except some weeds. Oh, and I love this blue better sage. This is the Salvia Farinacea. I don't think my phone's gonna focus, but it is beautiful, there it is, beautiful. And then some of these, um, Oh, good Lord, zinnias have really uh, started to take off. And I'm not sure when I'm supposed to pinch them. Like this one looks like it's big enough to be pinched so that it shoots out side shoots. But I'm gonna have to research that before I do any pinching. Um, and then this right next to it, which is too close. Those are too close together. That's an eggplant. And that is actually getting pretty good size. That, that one as well, that one's doing good. This one's still a little tiny. And then that eggplant there doing really good. Jalapeno peppers are doing pretty good. Um, the habaneros seem to be a little stagnant, but we have had some cool mornings. Um, I think it's, the heat's really gonna start to ramp up now. So these may start to take off. Achillea yarrow doing all right. Oh, the roselle hibiscus. Yeah, that's really getting tall. I'll move around to the outside in a minute so you can see that better because I think it's getting obscured by the mammoth sunflowers back there. These sunflowers are doing great. These are getting really big, really big. All the way down, all that. Look at all those sunflowers. So many sunflowers. I really got to thin that out. Sweet Alyssa, getting a little leggy and floppy, but we do it. I kind of want it to hang over the edge. Let's just move it like that. All right, so we have some Cosmos doing wonderful. Carnival Blend Pepper. These have really grown quite a bit since last time. Um, same with this Lesia Pepper. This is getting of some good size. All of the Lesias are getting bigger. Very nice. I mean, that Cubanelle is a little stunted, but the rest of the Cubanelle, they're doing okay. Not as good as the Lesia. Giant Zinnias of California, doing well. This sweet banana, this one is like the star and there are bugs on it. I just sprayed the other day. Ugh, what is that? I don't know what that is, I gotta look that up. Anyway. Oh, and it looks like there may be some flowers trying to form in there. I do think so. I think that's a flower trying to form in there. Anyway, I'll have to spray again. I sprayed with some uh, neem and some BT, which the BT is not gonna hurt that beetle, but um, the neem should have kept him from munching. Anyway, Borlato bush beans. They seem a little bit taller this week, but honestly, I thought they would grow just a little bit faster. I'm, I have a feeling things are stunted, but maybe not. Maybe not that one back there. 
That one's taller than the rest. Look at that sunflowers. Oh, I can't wait for the sunflowers. And the rest of the peppers. I think in the next week, there'll be a lot more uh, growth. Um, beans, asparagus. The asparagus is already starting to, you know, fluff out. I have another, another little stalk there. But the ones from last week have started to flower. Cuteness. And then along the back there, my watermelon. And I'll walk the back side here in a minute. Now, one thing I'm a little concerned about my squashes. Look at these. It's like they have a fungus or something. And they look yellow and sickly. So, I think I may fertilize. I don't remember if I put any fertilizer in the hole with the seeds. I think I only put fertilizer in the hole with the seedling plants, not with the seeds. So, I'm going to fertilize today. And then my nasturtiums are getting flowers. Orange. So far, all the nasturtiums have been orange. Ugh, it looks grody. Even that one back there. Like, all my squashes look grody. These ones don't look all fungusy, but they still look kind of yellow. And they're too close together. I don't know how. What was I doing planting seeds? That's one, two, three, four. Like, right in the span of one hand. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, another one's coming up. They just look a little... The color looks off. Like, that color looks all right. These look a little yellow. Even that coming out of the ground looks yellow. Okay, so I'll probably fertilize today. Look at this nasturtium flower. How gorgeous. It's got like a white, a white picote around the edge. Gorgeous. And it's a good sized flower. It's very pretty. The Kilia is doing great. These, I probably should cut the stalks off. They're like way done. That's the uh, bunching onions there. But anyway, squashes are doing okay. I will fertilize. And I don't think they like being moved, but I may have to try to move some. Because that, look at that. I don't know what I was doing. That is in no kind of grid whatsoever. <laughs> uh, giant cactus zinnia doing good. And then my tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Look at those babies along the back. And... And I think those are Brad's Atomic Grape in the back there. And look at Brad's Atomic Grape just right in front. Way shorter, like half the size. Half the size. That's crazy that the back row is way taller than the front row. Odd. But anyway, lots of flowers. Mainly, mainly the cherry tomatoes right now are having all the flowers. Um, let's see, this is black cherry. None there. That mortgage lifter. Oh, is that flowers? I think mortgage lifter is getting some flowers there. And then um, my gourmet blend radish. These guys are doing great. Real pleased with that. Real pleased. Looks good. That's a big one there. Nice. And then the Detroit red beet. Those are coming up a lot better. We've had some rain, which has helped because the irrigation is split just a little bit far apart for some of these little seedlings. They weren't quite getting wet, but they're doing much better now. Um, oh, and when I go on the back side, I'll show you the grapes. The grapes are doing really wonderful. And that one zinnia, like all these seeds were planted at the same time. That one's gigantic. And then the other ones are like, we're just little little bitty. This is called Lily Put Mixed Colors. So you think they would all be small. But that one right there is like, nope. Okay. Red Giant Mustard. Beautiful. Love it. And I think that's some uh, sweet alyssum because I threw some seeds in here. So Red Giant Mustard. Got two rows. Two rows of those in front of the tomatoes. And I think I need to do some weeding but it's 
tried to tell what's a weed and what's a flower right now, so maybe I won't. Um, anyway, back to tomatoes. That one back there, I think that's a yellow pear. That one is huge. And we have flowers. Fantastic. Yeah, the yellow pears really took off. All the cherries really took off. These, these larger ones, like the black from Tula, still so small, so tiny. Don't know why. Now this, actually I think this is also a black from Tula because there's three together. Still, I don't know why these two are so little. Oh well. Brandy wine. These ones are looking nice. Nice. Oh yeah, here's the yellow pear. That's a big one. That's ready to be tied. And we have lots of flowers. Yellow pear is one of my least favorite, but it's doing the best, of course. Of course it is. Vintage wine. Oh, looks like we have a flower starting right there on vintage wine. Excellent. Yeah, super sweet 100. Some flowers there. And then some of these lower leaves that are getting all grody and spotted, I've been pulling those off. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably from all the rain and the dirt splashing up on them. My black crim, these are doing well. I don't see any munching on the tomatoes, which is good. Okay, so more zinnias here. This is the queen lime and in the back is polar bear. And, oh, I don't know what that is. I didn't plant that. Um, the garden beans, doing pretty good. And still, um, none of the other beans have come up. None of them. Oh, we had a blowout the other day. The hose blew out and I guess shot full force water and dug a trench right there for 20 minutes. But we fixed it. Let's see, on this back row here, that uh, small Persian melon, look at that seedling. That one's doing the best. That one's gotten munched on. That one's just really tiny. It's tiny. That one's doing okay. And then the muncher cucumbers here. These are doing pretty good. I think things are really going to start to take off here in the next week or so. And my kooka melons, I was getting worried because they look like they were stunted and not doing anything. But now I see another little leaf, that third leaf there in the middle. So that's good. So those are my kooka melons, Mexican, Mexican sour gherkins. And then these cosmos. Tell you what, I'm real proud of these rows. These rows are beautiful, even though they're too close together. I got the seeds and some pretty good rows right there. So these are Cosmos uh, Fizzy Rose Piketty, and then I have some Queen Lime Zinnias in the back, and then some Teddy Bear Sunflowers. These are doing okay. These are the Teddy Bear Sunflowers. And then behind that is the uh, Mini White Cucumber. So those are doing pretty good back here. And then some more, um, this is Cosmic Orange Zinnia, I mean not Zinnia, Cosmos. And then some of the blue uh, bachelor buttons on that back row of flowers. And then the onions are still doing fantastic. These onions, so proud of these onions. They're doing good. And I can tell the bulbs have really started to swell. So, doing really good. And then, have some wildflowers here. So that's just a mixed seed pack of wildflowers. I don't know what's going on there. It's like it's rusty or something. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna spray again with some neem. Maybe I have some fungus issues. Um, and then at the back is the uh, cucumber, Richmond green apple. These are doing great, really good. And then my climbing flower mix with the cardinal vine, um, moonflower, that big leaf with the purple veining, that's the moonflower. 
Um, but I've got cardinal vine and oh, one other vine. I can't think of the name. So those will be climbing hopefully soon. My bunch of engines that I transplanted, they don't seem real happy, but I'm sure they'll get over it. More moonflower there. So this is still empty. So I have lots of room to plant things. It's just this gets a little more shaded. Um, we have the live oaks here. Um, but it gets, I mean, it gets a pretty good bit of sun. But also gets a lot of shade. This, uh, what I am pretty sure is a Brussels sprout is doing awesome. Awesome. It's, and this was just a little stringy seedling that was in a plastic cup. And I just threw a seed in there. Didn't really realize what it was, but it's doing great. Pretty sure it's a Brussels sprout. And my kale, oh my gosh, my kale has perked up so much since I dug it out of the other bed. It's grown and it's gotten so green and lush and it's loving its life out here. So I'm, I'm real happy for the kale. I'm so happy. It looks beautiful. But these lantana and even the um, Walker's Low Nepeta on this side, they're just stunted. They're just getting brown and grody and they are hating their life right now. Um, I'm gonna try some fertilizer, but I don't know what's going on. Don't know. Um, butterfly pea, that blue butterfly pea, it's got some more leaves on it. It looked to me like it was stunted, but now I see that it's starting to grow, so that's good. And then once it gets bigger, I'll just train it up this trellis here. And then I got some, looks like some, true leaves there on the um, birdhouse gourd. So that is gonna be awesome. Big seedling. All right, so before I do the circle bed, let's walk around the outside. Okay, from the outside, man, I love that nepeta. That catman is so pretty. Jasmine is doing okay. It seems also to be a little bit, you know, like it doesn't wanna grow right now. It's just trying to figure out what's going on. Hopefully that'll kick up soon with the heat. And then my Roselle hibiscus, hello, hello beautiful. This gal's getting big. Very pleased, very pleased. And my Russian mammoth sunflower, these are getting big. I feel like I need to walk around with a ruler so I can like take measurements of how things are growing from week to week. Sunflowers, these are the um, Chianti hybrid. They're a burgundy, dark, dark, dark burgundy black sunflower. They're gorgeous. Table Queen Acorn. These are looking better than they did last week, but they still look a little sickly. So I will definitely be coming out here with some liquid fertilizer, maybe some, uh, I have some fish emulsion. I think we're gonna try that. And I have some chicken manure, uh, Espoma chicken manure. Maybe I'll use that and the fish emulsion just to kinda See if I can perk up this color. This color does not look good. These are the flat white boar. It's a big white pumpkin. These are doing great, but I still want to fertilize them. All of my squashes and pumpkins and, you know, melons and things, I feel like the color's just off a little bit. But anyway, flat white boar there. More sunflowers. Back of the beans. This grape here is doing pretty good, sending out tendrils and attaching itself to the fence, which is good. I'm gonna train that one to go up though. I'll come back out here later with some zip ties. So I'm gonna train that up. Um, found a little worm earlier this week chewing on this sunflower and I had sprayed him with some BT. Well, I sprayed the plant, hold on. Mosquitoes biting me or something. Anyway, I sprayed this with some BT and then came back later with some neem, but it looks like he just kept eating. He didn't care. That sucks. Anyway, it's holy. This one, that one's gotten really big. And it looks like maybe flowers starting to form in the center. We'll see. Ah, get that out of there. Okay. You see the asparagus, so cute, so cute. And then this is um, Black Mountain, Black Mountain? Black, Black Tail Mountain watermelon, Black Tail Mountain. 
So a little slow going, but like I said, the heat's about to pick everything up. Yeah, look at that. That's my Waltham butternut squash. It, the color's not right. It's not right at all. Um, I have some dill. This is the mammoth dill that's doing great. And then these cherry tomatoes, man. This is Brad's atomic grape. Lots of flowers. Look at that. Cute. Lots of them. So fantastic. Like all of this is Brad's atomic grape. I'm gonna have so many ding dang tomatoes. That's so cute. Yeah. These ones on the back side are doing wonderful. All right, so this is another yellow pear and see all the brown and these spots and things on these leaves. I think that's from the dirt kicking up. So I'm gonna take these off. And get them out of the bed. I don't want that rain kicking that up under my plants. And then some pretty flowers, look at there. I first saw these um, almost right after filming, maybe the day after filming last week. I'm like, oh man, I had flowers, I didn't even notice. But there they are. And then this grape, this Fredonia blue grape is doing balls. look at that. That is so cool. I also had to spray this one because it was getting eaten. Oh, there's some more in there. Hold on, hold on. There's some more clusters there. Real excited about this. Some more there. Nice. And it's getting so big and it's just grabbing on and it's growing and it's grabbing and it's growing. That, that is doing fantastic. These are lychee because they are spiny. I don't know if you could see last time. Let me see if I can get a better look. Can you see? There are spines on the leaf. On the leaf, there are spines. That is crazy, crazy. Spines everywhere. It's gonna be so prickly. Anyway, that's a lychee tomato. And then these are kind of small still. I think this might get a little bit of af too much afternoon shade because our neighbor has some big trees there. That's okay, it's gonna be fine. There's my garden bean there. Another grape, muscadine grape. Where's my tag? It's getting covered. Cowart, this one's cowart. This one isn't as vigorous, probably also because there's more shade in this area, but it's got tendrils, it's trying. Oh, see, it's already grabbed on right there. There you go. Okay, let's go back. Well, can you get a better look at the Persian? That's doing okay. And the color's not so bad on that one. That's my Persian uh, cantaloupe. And then the muncher cucumber. And the, uh, oh, the mini gherkin, the sour gherkin, makes cucumelon. Good grief. And then the uh, white, the white cucumber there. My onions and then Richmond green apple which this one's probably doing the best that's good size then all my climbing flowers okay so got a lot of dead space a lot of dead space get that planted I've got carrots and Swiss chard and some other things um, that I want to put in there all right now this circle bed is doing balls. I tell you, I'm definitely bringing out a ruler next time because look at that artichoke. Look at that. It's huge. I feel like the camera is just not conveying. When I planted that, look at that. It's gigantic. And it's gonna get bigger, way, 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 way bigger. Anyway, I do need to pull out some grass. This Bermuda, oh, it's the devil. Anyway, okay, so artichoke is getting huge. I feel like that golden eye Duranta is getting really big as well. This rose is doing well. This is St. Patrick, but it's getting swallowed 
by my chrysanthemums. Look at these chrysanthemums. These are the white moms, totally doubled. We're coming on tripling in size and there's buds. It's gonna bloom. Look at those flower buds. Yeah, golden edge again. This rose is doing really well. It's really leafed out and gotten big. So this is one plant. That is one plant. And I see um, it's gonna have its first spring flush, which is lovely. But look at this mum. Look at that. Look how much the mums have really grown and filled out. And this one is so close to blooming, so close. Nice, nice. And then this yellow one, Gilded Sun, it's gonna have another bloom. That's why we cut off that old nasty one. But there's a bud, several buds. Look at all these buds. So it's about to have its first spring flush. More buds. And it's getting munched again. I just sprayed, oh. Look at that. They eat and then they poop all over it just as an extra insult. Suckers. Another artichoke, doing well, but not as well as um, the artichoke on that side. There's something about like this little hemisphere <laughs> mark here. The stuff on, on that side is growing like gangbusters. And then the stuff on this side is like, it's gonna take it slow. It's very strange. Anyway, wow, look at all these weird mushrooms. There's like literally a bunch of uh, crazy white stem mushrooms. That is pretty cool. Um, Russian sage, doing fine. It's not going crazy. God, I'm just mad. It's like you're gonna eat my rose and then you're just gonna poop all over it. It's so rude. Anyway, I need to treat that. This rose, uh, Eternal Flame, about to have another bloom there. And there's, oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at that. All oh, those little suckers. All right, I'm gonna spray again today with the neem before it gets too warm out here. Look at you, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, anyway. Anyway, looks like we have some mycelium growing on the bark mulch, which is cool. That's fine. That's good. Oh, Bella. This, that one, uh, artichoke is doing all right. Not as big as that first one, though. And then this rose, I'm seeing some new growth, which is great. Like I said, oh, good. I get worried when I only have, like, one stem left. So, looks like we're getting some more, so that's good. This one, this pink mini rose is doing okay, but still there's more dead. I have to keep cutting dead off of it. Um, the other one over there is doing all right. I haven't had to cut off of it this week, but I just want them to bloom because it's a really pretty corally, like a peachy pink bloom. It's really pretty. And then, um, my iceberg climbing rose. I don't think it's gonna make it. The leaves already, what what I did have have already fallen off and it's just a stalk. And I don't, I don't think that's gonna make it. I don't even think that shoot is from the iceberg. I think that's rootstock. But I'll leave it a little bit longer. It's got green on it. We'll see. Anyway, everything in this bed is really, really doing great. Even the Russian sage. Um, that'll be pretty when it flowers. And the mums are just crazy. Those mums. Walk around. Look how big those mums got.
Really nice. Really nice. Yeah. So that's week two. Can I tell you, I keep forgetting about this little grape both weeks. I'm like, I need to film this grape. This is my Concord grape that I thought was dead. Why does it say Fredonia Blue? Because it's not. The other one's Fredonia Blue. Okay, this may or may not be Fredonia Blue. And that one over there on the fence may or may not be the Concord. I think, I thought this was dead. I had, I was doing scratch tests and I was breaking off branches and I'm like, yeah, this is dead. So I set the bucket over by the garage to go out with the next trash. And then I happened to be walking by it one day and I saw <laughs> green growth, I saw sprouts. So this guy almost ended up in the trash, but there it is, making little bibbies right there. So, well now I'm confused because of the bucket it's in. I'm pretty sure the other bucket said Fredonia Blue, but this one says Fredonia Blue, so I may have uh, mislabeled grapes. Who knows, they're, go they're gonna taste delicious either way. Okay, now I'm really done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. So I noticed some like rusty stuff on my beans. So I did treat that with neem oil just now. Hopefully, um, I don't know what it is. It just looks rusty to me. So these are my uh, rattlesnake pole beans, but um, just giving them a spray because I don't like the way that looks. So this is just uh, some diluted uh, neem oil and my sunflowers because they're getting chewed up. For some reason, the burgundy sunflowers are not getting chewed up, but the mammoth sunflowers are. Yeah, these look fine. Um, yeah, these look fine. And I noticed the beans there were starting to get a little uh, runner shoot coming off that one. So the beans are growing a little bit faster than I had thought. So that's good. I'm noticing some rusty stuff on my uh, habanero and of course on the zinnias. The zinnias do get some sort of rust, but not usually this soon. So I just sprayed those with neem and hopefully we can take care of that before it gets out of control. Oh, and I did spray the eggplant as well because I usually get um, little, I think they're flea beetles that just eat them up every year. So, anyway, Neem. I don't have any bees out yet today and I don't have any flowers on any of these, so don't spray your flowers and don't spray your bees with neem please okay i guess i'm done i did spray the grapes um i sprayed all the rosebuds so we are all sprayed up before it gets hot and i'm surprised nothing has found this i'm not going to spray it because nothing is eating it but i did spray these a little bit i'm gonna do it again for you <laughs> now i'm gonna go fertilize